In this video, we're going to discuss what-if scenarios. In Planet Together, a what-if scenario is an entirely separate instance of your scenario. It's, an, it's a totally different container. So whatever you do in a what-if scenario doesn't affect your live scenario or the scenario you published. Um, it lets you play around with your current schedule, lets you optimize differently, but it still contains all the same data. So when you do a data refresh, you're, you're refreshing your live data and your what-if data. So it's nice. All your data stays up, up to date, but you get to play around with the schedule and not affect anyone else. So I'm going to make a what-if scenario off of this data here. This is my, I'm currently in a what-if scenario. I'm going to create another one. But I just go to my scenarios tab at the top, and I say copy to new what-if scenario. Copying. And there we go. It copied all of the data into a scenario called What If Scenario 13. So now what I can do is I can do some different types of scheduling. Meaning I can optimize a different way and see how that affects my KPIs. So in my, well, let's, let's just try it, let's try it. So I go to my optimize options and I'll go to my rules and I'm thinking, okay, let's see, I'm doing just in time scheduling right now and I'm not giving any slack days. So I want to see what happens if I do uh, five slack days. And we will save and optimize. Okay, so some things shifted around on the schedule. We saw some orders move back a little bit, gave it a little more slack. But, man, how does this compare to my original schedule? Like, I, I don't know exactly what changed. It looks like things just shifted, but I, I'm not sure. So to see, we we already talked about the impact monitor, so that'll tell us, you know, if how many jobs were made late, how many jobs were made early, or how many late jobs were made later, things like that. But what if I wanted to look at a KPI level? My business has this KPI. Maybe it's just late jobs, and I want to minimize late jobs. Well, we can go over to our KPI screen here. And I've got a couple data points now because I did I did one optimize. But from my previous schedule to the schedule now, so say I'm just on the same what if, I see a change in late jobs of, well, I went down by 10. So that's great. Now, I can also see the same change by comparing to my other scenario. So in this case, I'll compare scenario 13 to my medical scenario. Technically the same, we just optimized differently. And the way I do that is I come up to scenarios and I say compare scenarios. We're going to ignore the live one for now. Try to uh, we'll just ignore ignore this guy. Let's see, let's turn on some KPIs here. I, ha I had some turned off, so there we go. So we'll look at our late jobs, and let me make this a little bigger. And good, it's just simply taking out my, my simple optimized rule scenario. We don't really need to look at that, but what I want to focus on is my medical and my scenario 13. It lets me easily compare between the two scenarios here. I also can see it up at the top here. I see my medical scenario had 134 late jobs, and my scenario 13 has 124. Now let's see if I also, maybe I can add my throughput to this. So let's go to, let's save and close that. And let's reopen it, make me see if it gives me the option here. Ah, oh, there we go, KPI visibility. Let's do, we've got throughput on for that one. So your your KPIs have to match up to be able to compare them. 
I'm going to go to my scenario 13. Let's check that. There we go. And now you'll see my throughput late comparing the medical and the scenario 13. So this is kind of neat. Now this is a very simple example because I only changed one thing. I did one optimize a different way. But if you changed optimized rules or were just manually scheduling, you could see at the end of the time when you're done manually scheduling or done doing your optimizes or you want to, you know, you're ready to compare, this is a great way to compare across all the different KPIs. And I'll show you our list of KPIs is quite extensive. So we have some financial, some scheduling. We even have some uh, drum buffer rope. A lot on uh, scheduling and lead time. And if you don't see a KPI here that you want to use or your company has a custom uh, KPI or a, a particular KPI obviously that, that you don't see here, we can custom build a KPI for you so that you can track that your industry KPI, your company's KPI, you can always keep track of that and know if your schedule changes are giving you better results or not. So there's a quick video on comparing scenarios and creating what-if scenarios. And thanks for watching.